Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Getting good treatment from women. Yeah, yo. Hey, um, real quick, uh, some housekeeping. Uh, check out, check out the Negro Manosphere. Oh, especially some articles I got coming up. <laughs> oh, man, I've had some articles on there to piss off some people. All that does is make me want to piss them off more. Because um, if I get people pissed off, that means I'm hitting on something. And if they pissed off about it, well, they say, hit dogs holler. So check that out. Check out my business channel, especially my business channel. I've been, um, you know, my thing is, at the end of the day, a lot of stuff is affected by economics. And i rather rather work on like people building businesses and everything male and female you know male and female so you know black white whoever want to come over there all right and uh for y'all who want to get a little deeper for the men because it's a brotherhood men who want to get a little deeper check out ron wills raw um that's where i go deep into some stuff all right and i've had some people you know they Come back to me and say, hey, Rom, you know, this is work. Because that's when I really get into it. Y'all just getting the surface now, what I do here. Y'all check out Rom Will's Raw. And two, um, well, not two. Good gracious. You can tell it's early. I haven't slept much. Um, let me know because one thing YouTube offers is subscription channels. And I know a lot of people doing Patreon and stuff, but, mm, you know, that that would just be, I don't know. I, don't, I still haven't done it yet. I know everybody's recommending it, but YouTube offers subscription channels. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Y'all would be interested in a subscription channel. And now the beauty of that is I can really cut loose. I can really, because y'all paying for it. I can cut loose. Because you see... On this main channel, to a certain extent, I got to stay within uh, certain rules. I mean, it is what it is. Nothing wrong with this. It is what it is. But I can really cut up on a subscription channel. Let me know what y'all think. Give me the feedback. Y'all think it's good? Y'all think it's bad? Man, if y'all don't think so or something, tell me that. Or if you think, oh, yeah, Rom, I got you. I'll support you on that one. Let me know. Just give me your feedback on that one because I'm still thinking about it. You know? And despite what I said about Patreon, uh, I still might do that too. So anyway, right? Getting good treatment from women. Look, y'all. I'm going to tell you what. And this wisdom actually came from a young guy. Now, this young guy, he's definitely not a Mr. Good Bar. Because, the you know, young ladies in the social circle that I met this young guy in, you know, they weren't really feeling him, right? They weren't feeling him, so he definitely wasn't seen as select. But at the same time, you know, he wasn't he wasn't that type who was saying, oh, the women ain't checking for me. Dude was just focused on his business. He was a young guy in business doing some stuff, right? Now, check it out. Check it out, right? He said something interesting. You know, we're talking about relationships. He said, shoot. And he said it very calmly. He said, a woman can only treat you the way you allow her to treat you. And I was like, man, you, you are all right. You're a smart kid. And he was. He was wise because it's something I always said. Because, you know, a lot of times we'll say, you know, in these videos, one way or the other, that, you know, saying what the women are doing here and there. But at the end of the day, a woman can only treat you the way you allow her to treat you. I want y'all to think about that. Like a woman, like if a dude say this woman was disrespectful to you, right? Um, how much of that was her being disrespectful, which it might be her nature anyway, and some women going to do it. How much of it was you allowed her to get away with it? I want y'all to think about that. See, one thing, and I'm, I'm talking for myself now. I don't really catch too much hell from uh, women publicly. If they don't want to deal with me, they usually just keep walking, keep their mouth shut. That's because I have a look on my face like I'm not above, like, you know, going hard on them. 
And even then, you know, because I don't smile that much. In fact, many women have commented when um, I was putting my pictures on the uh, videos a bit more than I do now. Many women were saying, don't you smile? And I mean, I've had women check out my, some of my Facebook. They would go through my Facebook pictures and stuff and be like, oh, OK, I finally found one of you smiling. <laughs> it's like, you know, because I just have a I have a look that says I'm not the one. Shoot. And actually, it keeps dudes uh, from trying to front on me because I look like I fucked them up. It's like you got if you you got to say as a man, you got to say I am not going to put up with certain behavior. You know, and even when they do break bad with you, you got you got to just have a look on your you got to be calm about it and just be say, look, I ain't the one. Like I give you an example. I remember um, I was at this department store. Right. And, you know, got my stuff got in line. I saw somebody's like bag or something right in front of me, but they weren't there. So I stood in front of the bag, right? I mean, in, uh, behind the bag. Because, you know, it's common sense. Somebody put it there. And I was like, I was kind of, I was just want to get my shit and go. And this sister came up, right? A black woman. And she came up, that's my bag right there. I'm in line right there. And I looked at her, right? And it was real calm. I said, that's why I'm standing here. I see that. I saw that was somebody's stuff. And I just looked at her. And I gave her a look like, bitch, I ain't the one. I ain't had to say it. I just looked at her like that. Then she started smiling and stuff because she was like, oh, I'm sorry. She actually apologized and she's smiling at me, looking at me. And then she was like, oh, you go to church, don't you? And all of that. And actually, I think I probably made small talk with her because it was right there. But I changed that situation because of how I, I, I handled it because I don't take no shit like that, especially in the streets, man. Now, if that was a dude, well, we might have been fighting. But I don't, I don't put up with shit like that. And see, a lot of times when dudes are saying the woman did this, she did that. Nah, because some men you said she could get away with it. You know, seriously, I've had very few. I've had, I mean, seriously, a lot of the stuff that men have gone through with women, I haven't gone through because I got that look. I got that look. A lot of these women say they talk about how strong they are and how they and a lot of them like to argue. If you look at them like with a look that says, bitch, I ain't playing. They they back the fuck down. They back the fuck down. In fact, shit, to be honest with you, some of them get wet because of that. Because a lot of women will say they want a man to put them in their place. And this ain't about some game or anything. This ain't about how to get pussy from them. It's just how to carry yourself in life. You know, a person can't mistreat you. And a person, you got to let a person know. And even to the point, you have to have the mindset. Like with women, you got to have the mindset like, you you know, baby, you don't need to come there. With other dudes, you have to have the mindset. See, it's different with dudes. You got to give a vibe off like if they get in your face talking some shit, you ain't going to argue with them. You will try to kill them right there. And I mean it that literally. You got to look like you'll fuck their asses up right there. Bury your foot up in their ass. Because a lot of times when people get a certain amount of treatment, it's because something in them look like they'll take it. Because you have to, and you have to be that way because people, I'm going to be honest, most people won't just do the right thing just for the sake of doing the right thing. Because you get some people out there, they'll do that. They just going to fuck with you and stuff. And you got to let them know, hey, we going to go there. If you if you do it. And it's just, it's a really, it's not even a verbal thing. It's not even a verbal thing. It's a, it's a look thing. You know? And like I said about me smiling and stuff. I've had women approach me. Like, it's funny. All these women be talking about, they don't know a man to smile. I lost count of how many times I be walking along. I get some random woman talking about smile. Especially some sense of smile. <laughs> or oh, you smile. Pfft, nah. You know? And you know what? Sometimes I don't, I don't even get mad at them. I don't even get mad at them. I, sometimes I look at them. If they're attractive enough, I just say, <laughs> I just smile back and keep walking. You know? Every now and then, you know, you get one trying to, like, engage in more of a conversation. 
You know, she fine. I, I ain't get, you know, I entertain it. But my bottom line is if you in my space, you in my area, you're going to be around me. When you interact with me, you're going you're gonna to behave a certain way. You're going you to, you know, I ain't going to accept like negative treatment. It's called zero tolerance, you know? And, and part of that, you know, even on, even on YouTube here, right? I block a lot of people. I block a lot of people because a lot of people get brave when you're not right in front of them, right? They get brave. They they get brave when they can like hide behind a, um, some cute name and no profile picture and stuff. Because I, I do block them. Because whenever I get some troll or some first thing I do, I go to their profile, see what they got up. And usually it'd be like no subscribers, nothing up. They just came on here to troll, so I just block them. And this is a message for those who do it. If you can't look me in the eye, come find me and look me in the eye and say what you guys say. Don't say it here either. You got zero tolerance for it. And, you know, just in general, men, seriously, a lot of these women do what they do because somebody lets them get away with it. But you don't have to be the one who allows them to get away with it. You got to check it quick. You got to check it quick, all right? Because it's up to you. It's really up to you how people going to treat you. You know, it's just like in um, it's just like in school. Like when you're in grade school. I mean, since they got so much anti-bullying stuff, I don't know how much it occurs now. Because I be asking my sons and stuff, anybody bother them. And you know, with them, apparently, they're very popular. So nobody really mess with them. But I always check, though. But, you know, when I was coming up, it's like if they think they'll try you. And sometimes you just got to take somebody and beat the shit out of them right then. Just let them know. But, you know, it's the same principle. You know, so if you're getting, if you a guy who's getting a bad treatment from a woman, you need to let her know. Or walk away from that situation if for whatever reason you don't have it in you to let her know. And then if you if you just in dealing with a woman, dealing with, in, dealing with a woman and really life in general. You got to start from the get-go letting them, letting the person know what they're going to say and not say to you. I mean, you don't have to verbally uh, articulate that. But you have to have the mindset that you're not going to take any negative treatment. And you're not going to put up with anybody trying to front on you. And see, that way, you know, and see, if you put that in your mind, it's going to reflect in your body language, how you hold your head, how you look another man in the eye or another woman in the eye. And they're going to feel it without you having to say a word. So I want y'all to think about that. A lot of time, and to be honest, look, y'all can, we, men as a group can kill a lot of this shit out here. A lot of this shit. Even how, even dudes who say something to women on the street, high or something. You know, some of these women smart. All these women who complain about some guys, sometimes if a guy say hi to them, they'll take a look at them like, uh, uh hey, how you doing? <laughs> It ain't necessarily that he like attractive to him. They just look at him like, you know what? I don't think I better be slick with this one. So, just I'm just want y'all to think about that. Anyway, y'all have a nice day today. Peace.